Hello everyone and welcome back to Simplicity Electricity. So in today's video I thought I would talk about this. It is an Insignia Bluetooth wall speaker and um, this may not seem too interesting to some people but it's got a few little quirks that I'd like to talk about that makes it unique from any other speaker. So we're gonna cue the intro real quick and then I'll be right back to the video. Okay, so you may be asking, what makes this speaker so special? Well, there are a few little bitty things. Um, first of all, it has a USB port, which, I mean, that's nothing special. You know, a lot of speakers nowadays have that, the bigger ones especially. But this one is pretty small, um, and for it to have a USB port, that's pretty unique. Um, aux cord, or aux input, excuse me, nothing special. <laughs> But uh, here's where it really shines. If you look on the back, you'll see these two prongs, and I think we're all familiar with what these prongs are, at least if you live in the US anyway. So what makes it so unique is the fact that you can plug this into a wall outlet, and you can listen to music all day, and it'll charge your phone for you while it's plugged into that wall outlet. So that's what makes it so cool. Um, it has Bluetooth. It is completely Bluetooth compatible. Uh, it actually will not play music through a USB. Um, this is strictly for charging your phone while this is plugged into the wall. You don't need to charge your phone or attempt to. It'll even say it right here. You only need to charge it when it's plugged into the outlet. But um, it'll play any Bluetooth compatible device. It'll play music. Any device that has an aux input, it can play music to that too. And it can do all of this while it is charging the speaker and charging the device. So that's pretty cool. So let's close this up. And I'm going to give you guys a quick little look on the back. Uh, here's the model number and the description and just a couple other little things. So the USB output is about 500 milliamps. Now that is plenty to charge up a phone or other small device it won't charge it as fast as a let's just say um, an Apple charger like the little cube that you get but it will still charge it pretty fast I mean for the most part as long as you don't leave your phone on you know well anyway um, now this specific model uh, this NS SB SPB uh, it was manufactured in September of 2014 so it's outdated I'm not even gonna lie um, but in the same token, it has a unique feel about it, just kind of like a unique, well, look that you just don't really get nowadays. You know, everyone now has these pills, you know, the Beats pills and just uh, those little glass cubes that light up, all that stuff. But this one is just different in its own little regard. Well, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you the box, actually, because this thing is a bit outdated. So it's going to come in a box that looks like this. And you may have actually seen these. Um, Best Buy used to sell them back in 2014, as you can see down here, when they were brand new. But I didn't get it back then. I actually got mine online from eBay for about $15, roughly. And it looks like they may have bought it from a store in 2016. So this thing may have been kind of frowned upon maybe it was used and they just wanted to get rid of it well I'll give you a quick little look on the back here's the dimensions and I mean if you can read it from the ripping part I did not do this actually the person who previously owned it did but just give you a quick little look at that and all right that should be good so is this device still usable today? Well, I mean, of course it is. You can still perfectly use this device. It still plays good quality music and pretty much anything that you need a Bluetooth speaker to do. Now, I do have a few complaints. One, it's not exactly easy to carry this. It doesn't have a clip or a place that you can attach any sort of hanging device, nothing like that. Now, it does stand up on its own and it can also lay down on its own. But a thing that I don't like about it is that it's not very mobile. I mean, it fits in the palm of your hand, you know, but it's not very mobile. Like, you can't just slide it in the back of your pocket and, you know, things like that. Something else is it doesn't really have a lot of bass. Um, it's more for just kind of 
clear audio quality, you know, it sacrifices bass for sound. And I'm not much of a music guy. You kind of wouldn't really know what to expect of this until you actually played it yourself. But just know that it's more about a person's voice coming through this speaker than it is about the bass or the background music. So that is something that I will say. But I'm a guy who likes crystal clear audio and not too much bass, so it's perfect for me. Now, let me show you how it plugs in. Yeah, so I'm over here by a wall outlet now, and I went ahead and took these prongs down, and I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. And you'll see here in a second, all right? So this means that the speaker itself is charging. Now, um, I did get an instruction packet with the uh, package with, that this came in, but unfortunately I lost it. Now, basically though, when this device gets through charging itself, uh, this red light will go off, just so you know. But I'm sure that you figure that out anyway. So, I have an old iPhone here, an iPhone 5, and I'm gonna see if I can charge it using this speaker. So what you're gonna do is plug it in, and there we go. It, the device is now charging. All right, so right now, technically, it is off but uh, let's go ahead and turn it on. So you're gonna wanna hold the power button down. Now there's two separate little buttons here. So go to the left side a little bit and just hold the power button down and the light will turn blue. Now normally, if you had this thing unplugged and there's nothing plugged in over here, it would just turn blue. But since it's also charging, it's gonna look kind of purple on the camera, which it's supposed to be because the red LED and the blue LED are both on. So right now, the device is on, but it's not searching for a Bluetooth signal. Well, let's change that. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is plug, the, I mean, press this button right here, and it's gonna to start to blink a little bit faster. Now, if you go into your device, let's go into settings, and then let's go into Bluetooth. Let's turn Bluetooth on. You're gonna to wanna to give it a second. And then there it is and it'll connect it should connect pretty easily and then you're gonna have both the blue and the red light come on at the same time again if it wasn't plugged into the wall and charging it would just be the blue I'm told that for some devices though uh, you may have to enter in some kind of password or key phrase or something to get in it's usually just a bunch of zeros and I don't think it affects iPhone as much as it does Android but if it does require that Type in, I think, about four or five zeros and it should work. If that doesn't work, you can find documentation for this online and it should instruct you further. But again, I don't think you'll have to do that. Well, anyway, um, I have it connected and, you know, what's the point of connecting the Bluetooth without music, am I right? Well, unfortunately, I do not have any music on this phone and I do not want to get copyrighted. So, um... Let's just pretend that I am playing music for the moment. Uh, what you can do is, usually what works best is turning the music up all the way on your device and then using these up and down buttons to adjust the volume accordingly on the uh, speaker. Um, how about I go ahead and give you guys a sound test, but first, if this was all the way dead, this would normally take roughly, I'd say about 30 minutes to charge completely. 30 to 40 minutes, give or take. And um, overall, if you're not playing it like full blast, completely loud, loud as it'll go, the battery usually lasts a, roughly an hour, hour and a half. And by today's standards, that is pretty crappy. But, you know, it was three years ago, and this is the best they had to offer. And this is a good company. All right. Well, um, I will go ahead and charge these two devices up, and I will be back here in a second. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate the volume for you guys and I know that the quality doesn't really transfer over well to video People are just kind of like well all you did was turn up the music and yada 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 Well, I'm going to go ahead and give you an audio demonstration I'm going to use the um, intro to my videos uh, the song that I always use and I'm just going to do this just for the people who kind of want to actually hear what it sounds like now, you will hear some static, but that is from the actual video itself. That is not going to be from the speaker. So, let's go ahead and play this from the beginning. And also, throughout this little quick demonstration, I'm going to show you how, like, if you press the volume up button and the volume down button, 
how it kind of affects the sound ever so slightly, but the volume on the phone will be up the whole time. So here we go. this quick side note and really thank you guys for watching today's video and for watching any video on my channel for that matter yeah it really means a lot to me I always you know try to explain things the simplest way I can for things that would otherwise be complicated to a lot of people and that's the whole point of this channel to find easier ways to learn about things to find a, per perhaps a cheaper alternative and that's the main point of this channel and I want to apologize to you guys I know that I'm only getting out about one video a month and I'm really trying to make more but you know college has really been bogging me down lately and you know finals are coming up and everybody hates finals but over the next few weeks being the end of December and the beginning of January I plan to make a lot of new videos for you guys a lot of new videos and I feel like these videos, um, I'm going to spread them out over the course of roughly every two weeks or so. And I feel like they'll really be helpful um, in teaching you maybe about something that you own, something you want to learn about, or something that you've never even seen before but you think looks cool. And I hope that, you know, I can just really explain things to you and make something a little bit simpler. In my next video, um, I plan to talk about some of the software that I use uh, to make these YouTube videos um, and explain why you don't need a $200 piece of software to record your audio or to make beautiful, beautiful 3D animations. And um, I just plan to make my next video about that and show you guys some of the software I use. It is all completely free and easy to use. And I also wanted to show you the uh, speaker that I used today and all of its glory and what it looks like, what you'd search for to see images of it. Now, you won't find one on eBay at the moment because they are currently sold out. But uh, you will see similar items for roughly $20. And I wanted to also take a minute to explain that you can get something like what I was showing you today and it works just fine. It serves all the purposes that a Bluetooth speaker is supposed to. It even charges your phone and a lot of speakers nowadays that are that size don't even do that for you. But a lot of these new speakers are really great and I understand why they would charge $150 for it. I mean, you know, it's probably got really clear audio. It's got kick and bass. I mean, you know, and it looks cool and it's what's in right now. And I'm not suggesting that you go out and buy some speaker for $20 if you don't want to. You don't have to do something like that. All I'm saying is that this thing and one of these things both play music. They both do exactly what a Bluetooth speaker is supposed to do, you know. But it's really just a matter of what what is your budget, you know. What do you want out of a speaker? What do you want out of any piece of technology that I show you on this channel that you see elsewhere you know because cheap doesn't always mean better but and expensive doesn't always mean better either but you really just kinda need to take your time and look at things and understand what you're getting yourself into now is this speaker still relevant today yes and no you know it doesn't do everything the new ones do but then again it does a lot of stuff that the new ones don't do so what I'm trying to say is always just take your time, look at a product, and think, do I need this? Is there a cheaper way? Is there a better way? And moreover, is there a simpler way? All right, I'll see you guys next video.